You know who it is, Marcin Alnimi, back at you with another video. And today, it's gonna be full on leg workout. And what I mean by that is um, now my next stage is get back into sport and return to sport and change your direction. And you know, in doing so, we will be um, completing a range of different exercises um, which have been programmed by the ACL Rehab Guy. Um, and yeah, we are trying to get me back into playing sport, which um, you know, I'm about 12 months. 12 months post-op. So, you know, I'm about a year out, um, feeling good feeling strong as always and um, yeah I pretty much got back into everything that I wanted to do thus far however getting back into playing sport um, football mainly soccer you know change direction and moving around um, so that's something we are going to be doing today so let me just give you a little indication as to what the session is going to be involving I'm going to be recording this session and then uploading that and trying to explain as I'm recording um, you know what you should really look out for during this uh, session and um, and yeah I'm just going to try and upload it as soon as I can because I want to try and stay more up to date with you guys with with what's going on in my life um, especially my rehab um, and um, yeah my you know getting back into playing sport because that's the main thing really so Without further ado, let's get into it. So, if you are connected with the ACL Rehab Guy, this is what you will have. You'll have an app. I'll put this on the floor. So, you've got an app over here. Make it happen. Should make it happen. So, you click over here. And then this is what I have planned in today. Yeah, I didn't actually do this yesterday because uh, yesterday was more of a rest day because me and my body was just like feeling achy. So, this is what we currently have today. Glute warm-up running foundations, reactive strength, we're gonna do some balance, proprioception, deceleration, power development, split squat, hip extension, soleus, single leg building blocks. And I've only got 45 minutes to do this session because um, I'm busy, I'm a bit busy guy, so I've got a meeting at four o'clock and it's currently 3.15, you see that? You see that? 3.15, now 3.16. So I'm gonna try and do as much as quick as I can, but then also trying to have a big workout in the process as well. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking and get into this workout. Really focusing on this glute. 
and squeeze it every time I go up and down. Let's try it again. single leg balance. So another single leg balance work that you could do is if you get a cross ball or any ball and you want to be throwing it against the wall. So single leg once again, we look like this and we just throw it and catch it. There's two, there's 
three, there's four, there's five, there's six. Oh, seven, seven and four. You need to think about that. You need to remember it. So you got seven times last time. Can you beat it? Okay, there's eight, nine, and ten. Very good. And go back over here. Oh, look at that catch. One, two, three. Focus, focus. Four. reps at a time and just a few sets a few sets all right next exercise is the single leg snap down and what I'm doing for this I'm standing up tall back chest up tensing my glutes tensing my core legs at shoulder width apart stand up on my tiptoes and then I drop on one leg and catch it so two three I'm trying not to sway from side to side and now I can already see myself doing that so up on tiptoes Fine. 
Just like that. All right. Now it's time to go for the single leg. Single leg. Remember, always believe. Believe you can do it. Don't say you can't do it. As soon as you've lost that mental side, that's it, it's not happening. So yeah, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I can do it. Here we go, here we go. Let's get it, let's get it. Three, two, one. Just like that. Good, there's one. Two. Three. Seven, here we go. Eight. All right, we're gonna do three sets, eight reps each. All right, next one. Single leg. Sit to stand. Now, you can try this anywhere in the world. All you need is a seat. You can do it at home. You can do it in the garden. Anyway, anyways. You're like this. And we are just lifting ourselves up using our quads and using our leg muscles. Now, we're gonna try to think. The tempo is going three seconds down, one second like touching, and then one second up. So it's like one, two, hands over your chest. Three, bang, one. So let's go through that again. The single leg, sit to stand. Hands over your chest. Three seconds down, and then one second up. Three seconds down, one second up. One, two, three, there we go. One, two, three, there we go. Woo. Eight reps in them, three sets. So the next exercise is the Bulgarian split squat. Here we're looking for eight reps, three sets each, and as heavy weight as you can to really Start working on this quad even more. Let's get straight into it. So, I would say put your leg up in the back. Okay. Four. There we go. Nice. We always keep that chest up. Now, personally, I like to deadlift this up. Now, other people might not like to do that. And I would say um, start at a different position, different angle, uh, mainly where you've already got the weights in your hand and you're putting your foot back. But I like to do like this. Deadlift it up. And then we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Next leg. One. Seven, eight. Woo. Wow, three sets, eight reps. Let's go. The next exercise that we've got is the Romanian deadlift. With this one, we're going to be hinging at the hips, bringing our hips back, hips back, keeping our legs as straight as possible uh, with a slight bend. Slight bend. But hips back. Shoulders back, and we're going to try and go for about eight reps here once again, keeping the weight as heavy as you can. Let's do it. All right, so double leg. Here we go. One, two. Before, but put it on a plane, 
and then dumbbell in your hand, holding on to something. We stay holding on to the boxing bag. Two, three. Try and hold it up for, for three seconds. One, two, three, and down and up. One, two, three, down and up. One, two, three. Woo. Fifty reps. Fifteen reps on that. And yeah, just increase the weight as you can. If you can increase the weight as much as you can, amazing. We're looking for hypertrophy, so write down, make a note of it. What is it in your head? You know, I've got the app, it's quite easy. But if you might not have that, just put that into your notes. Um, or just make a mental note of it. So today I did 16 kg. I did 15 reps at a time, three sets. If I wanted to do progressive overloading, what I would do is I'd increase the weight, maybe get some 20s. Or I'd increase the number of reps reduce that rest time. So there's a number of different variations that you can do to try and hit that progressive overload. So that's the session complete. I'll show you how much we've done over here. 56 minutes. Yeah, I just have got a meeting at four o'clock. That meeting is now 4.30, so I've got a bit more time on my hands. Uh, but yeah, really managed to get that session in. Um, I do these sessions three times a week, so I'm gonna be doing a lot more uploads specifically for this because this is all about athlete development um, and then you know getting back into uh, playing routine sports. Like I played so many sports before, um, tennis, badminton, um, lacrosse, football. Yeah, I like many sports, I'm just a sporty person and that's why I thankfully got my own gym so I can just do as much training here as possible um, and as well as boxing, but you don't really need much knees with boxing, you sort of do, but. Not as much as like football or, or rugby or American football or basketball or anything else like that. But guys, thank you very much for watching the video. If you are not aware, the Aspire One Way Protein is out now. 23 grams of protein, seven grams of BCAs. I'll be taking this directly after my workout every single day. I also take it in the morning as well and put some porridge oats in there. Uh, yeah, a little physique update for you, physique update. Because I have been losing a bit of weight, but I'm trying to get, gain it back on now. So I'm about 82, 82 kilograms. I think you can see a bit of action. So leg development. I don't know how you can really showcase legs. Oh, we've got a bit of muscle there. But that's the right side, then this is the left side. So I personally feel that this left side needs more work than the right side. Um, this is my ACL knee, this is my non-ACL knee. Um, and yeah, upper body physique. Give me a squat period. I'm flexing. So yeah, pre bumps up. Here we go. That's better. We got them good natural lighting in there. That's how we do. Oh, camera's gone a bit toasty. So yeah, this is what I'm currently working with. Okay, pretty good, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm very pleased with my uh, genetic capabilities. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and follow for more updates. I'm gonna be doing a lot more athlete development stuff um, and you know, a bit more about my life as well. I like to train every single day and I just wanna showcase you my training and my training plans over here. Also, if you guys haven't followed, follow Aspire One Performance on YouTube and I'll be doing a lot more videos there where it's just a lot of upper body stuff, chest, biceps, triceps, shoulders, traps, uh, and anything really to do with the, uh, the lifting. Um, ACL to Ironman is more my personal page and there's gonna be a lot more like vlogs and things going on in my life. But enough rambling, thank you for watching the video and yeah, please subscribe. I'll see you all in the next, thank you.